up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and I'm doing the week 13 update on our Cordyceps project. So you can see here, we've got some pins fruiting still. Um, a really nice pin set, although it's on the side of this jar here on um, the C3, C10 phenotype and then we've got these uh, two fruiting bodies. So my thoughts are that um, because there was so much substrate in these jars that the mushroom mycelium never felt the need to pin because there is so much nutrition. So definitely the next round, I'm gonna be using a lot less substrate um, it's three weeks into fruiting and I thought I would have a lot more um, fruiting bodies by now. I do have, you know, a few on this tub that's starting to pop as well. You can see there's um, a bunch of pins, some starting on the top, some starting on the side. But again, I use a lot more substrate than was necessary. So those mushrooms aren't going into... Um, fruiting mode which is usually an indication that the substrate is starting to run out of um, nutrients and that's why it wants to spread its spore so that's kind of my week 13 updates um, I'm going to be doing another round of morel mushroom um, so I'm gonna I'm working on a, a patch in my backyard this time and I'll do a video on that but that's the third week 13 updates um, I'm planning as soon as I get some big enough fruiting bodies to clone those fruits on the top of the substrate and my hopes are that um, those clones from the pins on the fruit will carry a little bit more um, of a genetic structure for top pinning. Um, there's a lot of pins on the bottom here and I'm going to try my best to harvest those and make a tea from them but um, I hope you guys are enjoying this project I'm doing this in real time and you know I didn't really know what was gonna happen but we did get some fruits um, not really what I was hoping for but I'm gonna you know continue this project in the future and right now it looks like we've got one phenotype that has you know a significant fruiting body it's probably you know a gram at the most but that might be enough to uh, clone off of and then do a subsequent fruiting from that um, this this phenotype here has quite a bit of pin sets so I'm hopeful that we'll get some bigger fruits from that and then this um, phenotype here has a really dense cluster right in the middle but they've all seemed to kind of stall out at this point so that's my week 13 update um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole process step by step, and I'm going to continue this onward. Um, we'll see, you know, if we, if we get any more fruits that um, form on these jars, then I'll probably put out some cultures, but these ones aren't the best, so I don't really um, think I'll be putting out some liquid cultures anytime soon until I really get some nice fruiting bodies. But Thanks again for following along. Um, I'm gonna be revamping all of our other gourmet uh, mushroom strains in the next couple weeks here. So the market season's starting to wind down and I'm gonna really have some more time to dig into my lab work. I've got a lot of projects um, for winter planned out, including you know the continuation of this Cordyceps project. Um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video. Um, subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like this and comment below if you see any problems that I'm doing with this project. Uh, I had about 11 different uh, isolates that I crossed and then we got 15 different phenotypes from those isolates and then out of those 15 it looks like three of them fruited but zero really killer all-star strain so far so uh, like i said i'm gonna go ahead and clone that little guy there um and then hopefully by cloning that one um mushroom and then 
isolating that clone and then shrinking the amount of substrate I'm gonna use you know about half as much as this jar even because you can see the underside um, there's a lot of you know pinning and um, a lot of growth going on I just think I use a lot a lot more substrate than necessary so I hope you guys learned something from that and um, until next time much love